King Jack, I'm back with another one. Welcome to the Baltimore Sports Network. I'm your host, King Jack, and we're back with another one. What it do, y'all? It's the host of Baltimore Sports Network. I'm your host, King Jack, and I'm back with another one. Man, we got to talk about a serious topic, man. This is sad, man. I woke up to some crazy news. Well, apparently, high school coach from Atlanta, Brianna O'Connor, has been fired. Once again, y'all, a high school basketball coach, female, has been fired. Not because of record. She was 18 and 4. One of the, they said, the, the student said she wanted the best coaches in discipline. Like I said, her record was 18 and 4, yo. The reason why she got fired, you wouldn't believe it. This got to be some type of discrimination. And I know we always want to, you know, sports, we, we think about the men and all that. But we got to salute the women, bro, that's out here doing that thing, too. And also, we got to take up for them, too, man. This is ridiculous, bro. You telling me the lady got fired because her dress code? They tell her that it's not a fashion show. Like, what is you talking about? I'm a she, She's a top-ranked head coach, a, a high school coach, got a winning record, and then also she disciplined the kids when they do something wrong. Now y'all coming at her saying the way she dress is not a fashion show. So what do you want her to dress? She's a female. Don't forget she's a woman. She's a woman head coach. She's a woman head coach. Like, how is she supposed to dress, man? Y'all saying it's not a fashion show. So y'all tell me y'all fired this girl just because the way she was dressing? And I see some of the pictures. None of the pictures was inappropriate, bro. Everything was dressed casual. You would want your coach, coach to dress like how she dressed. Well put together. Well representing the school. Like, and also leading these young ladies, these young women into a posit positive direction. Instead of having everything hanging out, she was dressed accordingly, bro. Like, you would want your professional coach, head coach, to be dressing, suited up, well, well dressed, it, bro, and well representing not just the school, but also the kids, man. Like, this got to be some discrimination. She got to be some type of lawsuit, man. Her name is Brianna Bri O'Connor. She's a head coach at um a high school in Georgia, man. She's a high school coach, women's basketball, a, 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 a women's basketball coach in a high school at, um, in Georgia, man. Her name Bri Brianna O'Connor. This got to be some type of dem discrimination, bro. We got to make some noise about this. Usually, we ride and die for the men, bro. It's time we ride and die for a, a woman, bro. Especially if they doing the right thing, bro. Being though all this distraction out here for these young ladies to focus to. And y'all going to fire the head coach because y'all say the way she dressed. It's not a fashion show. Like, that don't even make sense, bro. I guess because she was winning and disciplining the woman. And she, also, she's a black African-American. She, she leading the young woman into a right direction. Because they said she was very disciplined. She disciplined all the players when they do something wrong, man. Like, she hold everybody accountable, bro. So she not she not out here telling the kids about ski and riding out the and ops. And she leading these young women in the right, right direction, man. So what is y'all trying to lead the women in the wrong lead? particular black woman in the wrong path that's crazy so y'all saying it's okay, okay to follow cardi b and sexy red and next to Nicki minaj but it's not okay to follow a high school winning woman basketball coach that's disciplined women when they doing something wrong and that's disciplining young ladies when they do something wrong but also not just that she is a winning coach i reckon 18 and 4 like there gotta be something crazy bro they say when you're doing something right, you're leading the people right, bro. They will find any type of way to, to get rid of you. Now, I bet she was, I bet she had a different agenda. They be let, I bet she was some nonsense that she was she was uh, promoting. They would keep her. But being as though she, 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 I would say that she is mentoring these young women into the right path, bro. Because these young women... They follow all this social media, ain't nothing telling but BBLs and twerking and dancing and trying to ride on your op or trying to take advantage of a man. No, she teaching these young ladies to be women and also be classy and also be held accountable. And I think that's one thing women need to be to learn how to be held accountable. And that's what this coach, Miss Brianna O'Connor, was doing, man. This is sad, sad news in the sports world. I'm surprised more and more people not talking about it. This is ridiculous, bro. They fired an 18 and 4 successful woman head coach at a high school, bro, that was leading women in the right direction because they said the way she dressed is, is is not a fashion show. Basically said she was dressing too she was dressing too clean. Basically, that's what I got out. Like she was presenting herself too well. Oh, it's not a fashion show. You got to go. You're fired. What? 
That don't even make sense, man. Somebody get to the bottom. We got to get to the bottom of this, bro. It's not on ESPN, man. It's not nowhere, but This discrimination at its highest, bro. Especially as her being a black woman, being as though she not leading these young ladies into the wrong path. She asks them holding these young women accountable and leading them in the right path. Show them that you can be successful without doing no nonsense. Like, this is... We got to get to the bottom of this, bro. But her name is Bri- Bri- Brianna O'Connor. She's a, a basketball, a high school basketball coach in Atlanta, bro. This is ridiculous, man. We got to get to the bottom of this, y'all. But let me know how y'all feel about this. Like I said, bro, the same way how we stand up for for men, we got to stand up for women, too, bro. Because they our sisters, bro. Like, come on. This is ridiculous, man. Y'all fired the lady, bro. She got... And, and there's no back... It's, I, they say there's nothing bad about this woman. She disciplined the players. She's well respected. Her players well well respected and know how to carry themselves as young ladies. Like what what is it, man? How, she, they, they got a winning record. She disciplined her players. Like, bro, I don't understand, it, bro. Y'all fired that lady because y- y'all say it's not a fashion show. But y'all get a chance, yo. Check it out, yo. Do your homework on that too, man. Try to repost it, man, and try to let's try to give her a, get her a better job, man. Her name is is Brianna O'Connor, bro. Brianna O'Connor. I'm going to put her name in the description, bro. We got to get to the bottom and repost this, bro. This is sad, bro. That is dead wrong, bro. She didn't have a losing record. The the young ladies that's on her basketball team, her high school basketball team, they, they respect her and they look up to her. Like, this is, come on, man. This is ridiculous, man. But let me know what y'all think about in the comment section, though. Her name is Bri- Brian O'Connor, bro. She's a coach at a high school girls basketball team, bro. I think it's JV, man. But I'm your host of uh, Baltimore Sports Network. I'm King Jack, bro. But we got to do better, man. And we also got to start sticking together, whether they women or men, bro. Like, when it was right, was right. And also, what's wrong is wrong. Let me know what y'all think about it, man.